asked by Daryl and Vanessa if I would drive for them, and uh, you know, and when I found out what boat it was, it was uh, pretty much a, a no-brainer. I was really excited, and then uh, you know, the the neat part is we're going to be the Miss Tri Cities for the first three races, and the Charity for Kids is going to be a part of that. So that that's super exciting, and uh, I think we'll be good for everyone, and it's a little little different. And then U8, you know, we decided as a team to be the U8. And uh, so I'm excited about that. I think it's going to be a good look, and we're going to have a fast boat this year. To start, you know, I'm driving for a new team. And uh, basically since I've moved over, it's uh, been every day at, at this new race facility. And... We've been acquiring the new equipment and getting the race shop set up and basically putting the boats together. We got parts coming off the boat as we speak and you know, we gotta get, have things checked and just really getting geared up and getting all the pieces in place you know, to go race this year. Uh, just new opportunity, you know, I, you know, it's one of the. It's been proven to be one of the fastest boats on the circuit, and to actually get that opportunity to see what I can do in top-notch equipment, I'm extremely excited about. And you know, to go out there and drive for Daryl and Vanessa Strong and all my U8 guys, um, you know, I, I'm just super excited. I mean, just to even get back on the water, it's going to be. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I mean, I, I, I think it's going to be a learning curve. Um, I'm sure the boat's going to be completely different than what I've been used to driving. And, you know, but I think I, I got a lot of confidence in myself. I think I adapt well to driving different boats. I'm excited to get in there and learn and see what I can do. I think uh, instead of being more aggressive, I think I'm going to have to be more on top of it you know just from what I've seen and you know I've raced against it so I've I've learned a lot just racing against this boat and I think you know I can take that when I do get the opportunity to go and race just the pure speed the g-forces how violent it is I mean I remember 2004 the first time I ever really even sat in a cockpit uh, going to Tri-Cities and you know, sitting in there and flipping the switches and uh, getting it up on plane, and you just don't realize how big that boat is around you. And uh, I remember the first time I saw a roller and uh, pulled my foot because the thing looked like a yacht roller. I mean, it was huge, and you know, it just went right over over the top of it. And it's just a completely different animal, and it was a different experience. And yeah. I always like Budweiser. I know a lot of a lot of people out there are like ah Budweiser, but I was a red boat fan. Always was. You know, I got the opportunity to drive one of the former Miss Budweisers for a few years, and I always liked the Budweiser. Always rooted for the Budweiser. Um, Smoking Joe's was always a cool one, and then uh, you know, but you know the drivers too. I mean, there's so many drivers that I rooted for, so it didn't really matter what boat, and just you know, just depended on the day, I guess. Uh, Chip, of course, uh, Scotty Pierce, Mark Tate, Dave. I mean, I was a fan of all of them. I never had any that I disliked, and, you know, just uh, it was pretty cool to, you know, get a, the opportunity to race against some of those guys I grew up watching too, you know. I mean, I, I wish I could have raced against Chip and some of those other guys I didn't get the opportunity to, but. I'm hoping it's going to be the U8. Um you know, I, I had a lot of success in the 12, but I liked driving the U2. I mean, it was the first boat I ever drove, um, you know, and I, the 13. The 13 was a really fast boat. I, you know, there's, I always tell people I wish I could take back what I've learned now to then, and I think I could have won some races with some of those boats then. Uh, I just didn't have the experience, so... I'm going to say the Gold Cup. That one was uh, 
That one was pretty interesting uh, when I cut the course and stole the inside from Jimmy. Uh, it, was, it was pretty exciting. And then, you know, once you, I secured lane one, it was one of those things where it was like take a deep breath and uh, I'm about ready to shake out of my seat belts. And so, yeah, that was uh, probably one of my favorites. I mean, it was a gold cup, you know, first, first gold cup. So it was pretty special. Well, I've always liked Lawrence Lake uh, Yelm, uh, one of the fastest bodies of water that we've raced outboards and inboards on, um, set lots of records. Um, San Diego, we've been racing the one liters there. That's probably one of my favorite race sites to race at with the one liter. Uh, we hit some pretty good speeds in that small little boat. And was, uh, with the Unlimited, I'm going to say Tri Cities in San Diego are kind of two of my favorites, um, but like Detroit is probably one of the more challenging ones. Um, and you know, they, they all have something that I like about them. They're all different and unique in their own ways. And so it is hard to choose which one is like my, my favorite. For outboards, it would be Newburgh, Oregon, run on the tight little river um, if, if you're not careful, you'll go swimming. It's happened a few times. Uh, inboards, I'm going to say Richland. Um, it seems like the last few times I've raced there, it gets pretty uh, rough in those small boats that don't really like that rough water. And then uh, Unlimited, uh, Madison kicks, it'll knock your teeth out. I mean, I literally had to have all my teeth reworked from racing at Madison. So uh, Madison's a pretty challenging race course. We've tore up a lot of equipment in that first turn there. And, uh, but like racing there, keep doing it. There's so many people out there. I mean, you know, I, I, I race so many types of race boats, outboards, tall boats. Um, the inboard stuff and um, there's there's so many guys out there that you know if they were just given the opportunity they would they do really well um, you know it's hard to say names you know like a lot of the guys that I've raced against have driven you know unlimiteds and moved up through the ranks um, it's uh I'm gonna go with there's some really young J drivers that are coming up and might be taking our rides sooner than uh, we think. Yeah, going over to Doha, I mean, it was a completely different experience. Uh, if it wasn't for the boat racing and stuff, I would have never seen that part of the world. And uh, so that it was neat seeing that and experiencing all of it, you know, and uh, a little scary here and there just because you don't it's the unknown you know but once once we went there it was uh and it, it was such a awesome experience the people were amazing real friendly um and it was with the racing i mean pretty big body you know it was just different we had uh it was pretty challenging but like when i won the race i remember dave billock was out front of me it was getting pretty dark, couldn't really see, and I was just following that orange glow. That's all I could see, and and it kept on getting closer and closer, and I was like, all of a sudden I'm passing him. Well, I almost missed the turn because I couldn't see anymore, and it, I mean, I swear when I got out of the boat and got back to the dock, it was almost pitch black, and uh, it was a pretty cool experience.